created absolute value expressions. So we'll have to unwrap these like uh, from the inside out essentially. Uh, think of the absolute value as another grouping symbol, so it's like a parentheses, and so we need to do the things on the inside first and slowly move towards the outside. So in this first problem on the left, I'm going to put those initial absolute value signs there. Inside of the absolute values, we see another set of absolute values right here, and then adding on a number three. So inside of the inner absolute value, three minus ten is the number negative seven. So that would be our first stage of simplification where we did the 3 minus 10. Okay, now, what's the absolute value of negative 7? Well, negative 7 is 7 units away from the origin, so the absolute value of negative 7 is the number 7. And to that we're going to add 3 and then take an absolute value. So what's inside of the absolute value now? 7 plus 3 is the number we know of as 10. So we have the absolute value of 10 and how far away is 10 from the origin? Well, of course, it's 10 units away. So the answer to this problem is the number 10. Okay, let's try again over here on the right. The absolute value of the sum of two smaller uh, absolute values, two other absolute values. So big absolute value. Inside, we have the absolute value of 7 minus 2, which we know of as 5. And then we have an absolute value of 5 minus 3, which would be a 2. So now, take the absolute value of those numbers on the inside. The absolute value of 5 is 5, and the absolute value of 2 is 2. So now we can take 5 plus 2, say we have an absolute value here of 7. And of course, the magnitude of the number 7 would be just 7, because it's 7 units away from the origin. So the answer to that one will be 7. Okay, why don't we try one on our own here? Pause the video. I'll do this for you after you pause here for a second, but see if you can figure out the answer to this problem. So assuming you gave it a shot here, we have a big absolute value over here, which has inside of it a smaller absolute value for 4 minus 5. 4 minus 5 is negative 1. Minus 4. And then over here we have an absolute value of a negative 3. An absolute value of negative 3 is how many units away is negative 3 from the origin? Well, that's 3 units away. So the absolute value of negative 3 is just 3. Now inside of the big absolute value, we now have absolute value. Absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1 minus 4 plus 3 on the outside. Now, 1 minus 4 we can perform. That would be minus 3. So now we have an absolute value of a minus 3 plus the number 3. But the absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3 because it's 3 units away from the origin. So now we just have 3 plus 3 and our final answer is 6.